Jake Ludington here at Oracle Open World, and one of the things that HP is showing off is their Blade System Matrix product, and here to talk to me about it is Kevin Lyons. Good morning. Good to see you. So I just got done watching your presentation on kind of a high-level overview of what the virtual private cloud is. And Blade System Matrix is a hardware infrastructure that, that HP has released, if I, if I understand that correctly. How is that different than, say, just getting a rack and, and filling it with a bunch of 1U server units? Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's probably the, the biggest value of, of Matrix that I keep trying to express every time I get a chance, is that it's, uh, you know, it's pre-integrated, right? It's not just a stack of servers. It, it, it's built in a common uh, architecture with the servers, storage, and network all sharing the backplane of the, of the Blades chassis, so you've got uh, common communication between them. Uh, you're going to save lots of cabling and wire. And, and further, it's got a complete management environment, right? So designed to help you virtualize all those resources and then allocate them out to uh, your end users. Now, when you say it has a complete management environment, does that mean that um, it's already got like a, a Unix or Linux or Windows installed and then that's sitting on top of that, or is that a separate architecture? It's separate. So, so the operating system is whatever operating system you're using in your data center for your applications. I'm talking more about the monitoring and administering the hardware, right? So making sure that your servers are running optimally, that power and cooling is optimized, that um, that customers are able to access, right? I mean, the core uh, administrative functions that go on in the data center. Now, and so in one of these uh, matrix configurations, um, is this uh, like a physical server environment or is this all virtualization? How, how would you? Yeah, either or, right? So um, it's, it's designed to be both, right? With a common management console that doesn't really care whether you're talking about physical or virtual. It shouldn't matter to you when you're trying to allocate resources to a user, whether you're going to use physical or virtual machines, right? Uh, so our management console handles both seamlessly. Okay, and so um, and one of the things that I think about when, when I think about uh, cloud is the idea that um, I can easily scale up when my CPU and memory requirements increase and then scale back down. In a, in a virtual setting, there, there's got to be some of this that, that is going to sit dark some of the time, I would assume. Yeah, so, so that's really the goal, right, is to uh, make sure that you have the right uh, quantity of resources, if you will, to handle the application workload. And you don't want to design to your peak anymore. I mean, it used to be that it was one application at a time, and you designed the hardware stack to run application A, and then there was a separate stack to run application B. And so now, customers have been consolidating for a while. They understand the advantage of running A, B, and C on the same stack, right? And so you, now you've got efficiencies. And so there, there's, there's free space in there that you can allocate to, to things that aren't as critical as production uh, applications, like test and development, right? So you're, so you're able to squeeze down the total investment and allocate as you need it. So if it's month end and you need lots of resources to handle your financial plan or your, your financial reports, um, you know you may take some of those resources back from test and dev for a weekend, right? And, and that's what that's what a cloud environment enables you to do. So in some ways, this is is maybe even a more efficient uh, method of deploying servers because you you're able to reallocate resources where they're most needed, not saying this box over here is dedicated to this, th these boxes are dedicated to that. Exactly, exactly. That's the goal, right? The end user shouldn't have to worry about that, and neither should IT, right? It should. It, we need compute resources, we need storage resources, we need networks, and and you allocate them where they're needed. So, if if I'm the uh, IT manager for a medium-sized company, yep. um, and I'm looking for a solution that, that I think like this could work, what's the what's like kind of the key selling point when I go to the CEO and the CFO and say, hey, I need some money for this project, what, what's going to make uh, Matrix look attractive in that regard? Yeah, so the fact that I'm going to get, I can buy this thing all pre-integrated and ready to run, right? I'm going to save the, C, the CIO lots of time, design time, engineering time, right? integration time because HP is going to do a lot of that for me and I know what, what I get when I, the end result what I get is standards based it's going to plug right into my data center and we're, we're off and running that's that's probably the biggest value that I see so the the engineering team is going to spend more time doing business critical functions and less time doing maintenance that they more shouldn't really have to do exactly more time innovating and less time uh, administering right 
Excellent. So is there anything else you want to mention about Matrix that I, that I haven't covered? Oh, you know, I, I'm so excited. The show, Oracle world is always a great place to come and, and meet the customer face to face, right? I mean, this is where we really learn about what they care about. Uh, you know, I just presented about cloud and what Blade System Matrix brings to cloud. Uh, now I'm anxious that the customers are going to give me that feedback. So looking forward to it. All right. Well, thanks, Kevin. Thank you.